Hello and welcome back to Bristol. It's time for the Hooters Nationwide Series to take to the track here for race number 32 of the season. On the pole today, we have Dylan Young and alongside of him will be Jake Davis. Alex Hawkins and Preston Plord, the teammate of Dylan Young, make up row number two. Kyle Sosnowski and Seth Cole, row three. Troy King, Tom Gerard, row four. And row five, you have Kenny Bale and Gabe Williams. Here's the rest of your starting grid. Worth mentioning coming into today, the gap, the same as when we went into Atlanta. 88 points from Jessica Shelton in the 42 to Dylan Young in the 88. Those are the only two that can leave here as the points leader. On the final row, we have Maxwell Chan and William Duncan, as we'll get ready to get the command. Driver, start your engines! Command has been given. Uh, the rest of the chasers coming into today, you have Matt Dixon, Preston Plord, Brenton, Brennan Patterson, Troy King, PJ Williams, Momo Akari, Katie Elizabeth, Seth Cole, Alex May, Drew Austin. You are done line probably for me where like if you are below this you have to get you have to get your butt in action pretty much and get going if you're gonna have any shot I'd say I'd put it under uh, above Preston and say Preston floored on down gonna have a very much uphill climb and I'd say realistically probably Seth Cole Alex May and Drew Austin not gonna be the champion here this season already two races back as the green flag is out we saw pretty much we saw no one be able to pass yesterday, but it doesn't look like that will be the case today. For one, Dylan Young actually able to get the jump on the re on the start and actually get out to the lead, unlike yesterday where the pole sitter never even led a lap. But Jake Davis trying to fight with Preston Floor now for second. Floor now having to try and fend off from Alex Hawkins. For the third spot on the racetrack, Floor trying to work that bottom line, which not the best line to be working at this track. Tragic, but true. He's sticking up tough, though, on that inside. Already one point, uh, this bout already two seconds behind the race leader. And it's already 1.4 seconds back to Jake Davis. And William Duncan already at the back of the pack. He's already half the track a lap down as Dylan Young passed the line now. They are just exiting turn two. And three wide right here. As Cosmic Nova Momokari. No, oh, Maxwell Chan and Brandon Patterson are around. No caution yet. They'll get going again, so no caution will fly for that. That is amazing. Tough break though for the 60 of Bram Patterson. Oh, Cassandra Renzi's gone around. Now still no caution. And now there's a lap car in between Dylan Young and Jake Davis. Amazing. We had two spins and no caution coming out. Jessica Shelton on the outside line now, looking to try and maybe grab 33rd or something there. Yeah, trying to grab 33rd from Charles Sanford. Matt Dixon also back here. Um, yeah, the outside line, definitely where you want to be. Dixon has the outside line. There's Drew Austin. Oh, there's a wreck in front of him. Wait a minute. There's no caution for that? Okay, yes, there was. Oh, there's a huge wreck, though. Seth Cole was involved. Cassandra Renzi has got damage. As she's trying to take her car to pit road, Momo Akari is smoking. Joe Davis has just gotten turned by Trevor Meacham. 
Baskinger involved. Okay, I'm confused. Dylan Young has retired! You're kidding! Jake Davis is apparently the leader. What on earth has gone on underneath the caution? We're gonna take a look back and see because this was crazy. Okay, so we've gone back to the end of lap five just to check this one out. William Duncan turns Brennan Patterson down into Maxwell Chan. That does not bring out a caution. To my amazement in the fact of where they were, I mean, and then you have Dylan Young coming right here. Amazing that they did not throw the caution for that. Cassandra Renzi then goes around in a, a future lap here, not too far after this. In fact, right there, Charles Sanford turning the eight around on the front straightaway. That on the end of lap six, going on to seven. But the huge wreck that brings out the caution involves Kyle Collins. We'll skip ahead to where that happened. Okay, and so here's where this wreck starts. Watch Chris Louvier, last night's winner, turns Amanda Shelley down into the inside wall. And Amanda just trying to drive it, trying to save it, gets loose. Nowhere for Kyle Collins to go. And Collins' car is going to sit in the track for... Um, never mind. But there's a wreck up here. And I'm not sure where this one was starting. There's Baskinger. Drew Austin involved. Let's start even a... There's Baskinger. Apparently trying to get a around the 36, gets back up onto the track, gets into the 81, makes contact with the 38, up into the wall hard. Nowhere for Drew Austin to go. There's Amanda Shelley. Charles Sanford, Momo Akari. There's Renzi getting the damage she got. Oh, there's Dylan Young! And Jake Davis! So that's where that happened. Whoa! Oh, and they're still piling into this. There's Washer getting into, or getting hit from behind by Jerry Shelley. Now these guys were still wrecking before the leaders got there. I mean, cause watch, watch this. There's Meacham. He gets and he ends up going towards the inside wall. Mary Shelley gets turned from behind by Maxwell Chan. Meacham gets the inside wall. And if I remember correctly, there was a wreck on the back straightaway with Seth Cole. And there was, this might have been the actual cause of the caution. Bram Patterson up into the wall. Oh, no, never mind. This wasn't. Okay, so Alex Hawkins. There's Seth Cole. Tom Drar gets turned by Troy King up into the wall. Sosnowski's around. Kyle Thomas goes and loops it around as well back here. Brennan Berg, look out. He gets around it. Just amazing that all... Uh, well, I don't even want to say the word. There was just absolute insanity on this lap right here. And it ends up taking out our race leader, Dylan Young. Wow. Second in the points, coming in, gets taken out underneath the caution. Let's go back to the green flag. And we are back. They will get the green flag on lap 17. As the drivers out of the race are Kyle Collins, Cassandra Renzi, Momo Akari, Amanda Shelley, Drew Austin, Jake Bassinger, Dylan Young, and Jake Davis. There are 32 cars scored 
on the lead lap, but really all three four cars running are still on the lead lap, at least on the tail end of it. Preston Floor, Troy King, Chris Washer, Tom Gerard, Bram Berg, Kenny Bale, Ish Taylor, Seth Cole, Gabe Williams, and Alex Hawkins are the top ten. As we are back to racing, there's three wide just inside the top five back here. This is exactly the racing we did not get to see last night, and I'm glad we're seeing it tonight. Side by side, back in the pack. Shelly on pit road. Floyd's gone away a little bit, so is Washer. Battle for third between Troy King and Tom Gerard, though, as they also kind of try and work their way around the lapped car of William Duncan. Kenny Bale got a little loose off turn two. Able to save it, though. Oh my gosh, look at this, inside of them. Oh, contact there between 66 and 32. Uh, by the way, where does Jessica Shelton run? Uh, has fallen to 29th actually on the restart. Restart about 25th. But these guys are now like three seconds behind the race leader Preston Plord. He's got himself up in the lead lap cars, essentially. Uh, yeah, Shelton just battling, I think, back here. Kind of just riding around. She knows she's going to be the points leader leaving here tonight. Just trying to increase that gap now as much as she can before the end of the night. As we go kind of in this picture again, just to show you that a little bit. Battle back here. Gabe Williams, Brennan Bird. Not quite, never mind. Hawkins and Thomas, though, battling for 10th. And Katie Elizabeth, who's kind of fallen by the wayside in this chase battle, essentially. Ninth in the points coming in. There she is, running just outside the top 10. She had one of the better um, things coming into this chase, where she was always running up in the top. I mean, her rookie standings thing had a worst finish of 18th on it while I was still following, and I unfortunately have kind of fallen behind on it. And at this point in the season, it's kind of hard to just pick it back up as Bram Berg has just turned Gabe Williams. Katie Elizabeth gets involved and the caution flies. Oh boy, look out Preston. So the caution will wipe out a 1.3 second lead as Troy King and Jessica Shelton are apparently getting into it a little bit back here. Not sure what happened there. But Shelton, I know, trying to get back at least by where she's supposed to be. Mary Shelley trying to do the same. And same for Bram Patterson. But an unfortunate turn of events there as Brennan Berg just flat out turns the 39. Let's take a look at what happened. Well, I backed this up to turn number three just so you could see how long Brennan Berg was in the left rear of the 39. You see he makes contact there, you can see it, and he just never gets off the 39, and actually the 39 speeds up to 133 miles per hour before hitting that inside wall. Then we'll get hit by Katie Elizabeth, and Kyle Sosnowski will come along as well. There you see that hit. That not all, I think. Let's see, what was it? Where was it, actually? Okay, yeah, they make contact again, and that puts Gabe Williams into the inside wall. And then he will actually kind of do the illegal way of getting onto pit road. And we'll just come on off of turn number four here. And bring his car to his pit stall. So Gabe Williams, unfortunately, was running in the top ten at the time. Doesn't look like he will get the finish he deserves tonight. As we're just past the halfway mark here at Bristol. And we are back. Lights out on the pace car as Kyle Sosnowski has taken his car behind the wall. Maxwell Chan six laps down right now in 34th. Preston Plourd is the leader. Then it's Chris Washer, Troy King, Kenny Bale, Ish Taylor, Tom Gerard, Brennan Berg, Seth Cole, Kyle Thomas, and Katie Elizabeth, the top 10. Alex Hawkins, Chris Louvier, PJ Williams, John Wilson, Alex May, Kyle Matthews, Jeff James, Sky Commons, Marcus Bruno, Cosmic Nova, the top 20, then Charles Sanford, Madison Williams, Joe Davis, Matt Dixon, Max Newark, 
Trevor Meacham, Jessica Shelton, Mary Shelley, and Brian Patterson, the top 29 and lead lock cars. Nice thing to say here, this is the Centrix uh, 350. And so, you know, Mary Shelley wants to do good here in her uh, race sponsor race, essentially. Centrix on board that car all season long. As there's a wreck in front of Mary Shelley, Tom Gerard has gone around, no caution. As, oh my gosh, this is a mess right here. Oh, Duncan nearly gets turned by Kenny Bale. Kenny all over the back bumper of Duncan. And cannot seem to get around the number nine. Trying that inside line so hard right now and not able to do anything with it. Seth Cole hanging on to sixth. Great job for that 25 car right now, the way that its day has gone. Kyle Thomas working the outside line right now, getting a spot possibly on Brendan Burr. Uh, has gained a spot on Katie Elizabeth, at least, I will say that. And at the line, yeah, I give it by half a car length. Does he clear him? Or when does he clear him? Now he does. Battle for fourth, though. Ish Taylor inside of Kenny Bale. Not able to make it stick just yet. As the top two kind of just battle away a little bit up here. We'll have to take a look at uh, Tom Gerard. Oh, there's a wreck in front of the leaders. Gabe Will or in front of these guys, at least. Charles Sam from Mark Springer and Gabe Williams have gone around. Jessica Shelton gets collected in this almost. Matt Dixon and Brian Patterson as well. And Chris Washer will go to the lead with 11 laps to go. Jessica does gain three spots, but will lose a lap. And the interesting timing of that is now with 10 to go, single file restart. But we'll take a look at what happened to Tom Gerard and Charles Sanford to bring out the caution there for Sanford and then just what happened to send Tom Gerard's car around. Well, we find Brendan Berg at the source of another one as he turns Tom Gerard's car around. And that one might be more bland than the 39 turning. And I know Gabe Williams, I saw him go around, so we'll follow him and we'll bring you back to see what happened to Gabe Williams' car. Man, it's been a rough race for Gabe Williams so far. Cosmic Nova turns the 39, though, this time to get this one started. <clears throat> and nothing Gabe can do at that point. He's just sliding. Bruno with a hard hit. Sanford gets into the 30, and then Jessica actually just loops it around, trying to kind of get slowed down and avoiding the wreck. So no damage to the 42 at least. But unfortunately does lose a lot to the leaders as actually... Oh, yeah, what happened to Patterson and uh, Dixon here? Oh, whoops, wrong thing. So Dixon on the apron. He's going to come up into New Earth. Oh, and then he's just going to slide it. Nowhere for Patterson to go. And that's what cost uh, Matt Dixon a lap as well in all of this. So with that, let's go back to the restart here with less than 10 laps to go. And we are back. Bram Parson, Gabe Williams, and Marcus Bruno taking their cars to the garage area. With less than 10 laps to go, it will be a single file restart now. Chris Washer is the leader, then it's Preston Floor, then three lapped cars in between before we get to Troy King in third, Kenny Bale fourth, Ish Taylor fifth, Seth Cole sixth, Kyle Thomas, Brennan Burke, Katie Elizabeth, and Chris Luby are the top 10. Alex Hawkins, PJ Williams, Alex May, Kyle Matthews, Jeff James, Cosmic Nova, Sky Commons, John Wilson, Joe Davis, Mary Shelley, Charles Sanford, Trevor Meacham, Max Newworth, and Tom Gerard. Add Mass and Lunes as well as the lead lock car, but the green flag is out. Six laps to go. Does Preston Floyd have anything for Chris Washer? We saw that Washer actually really had a better car. No! Jerry Shelley has just gotten turned by Seth Cole. No caution, though. We've seen that when they've spun to the inside, they have not thrown a caution so far tonight. Sanford to pit road. That's an extra spot, I think, for Shelton there. 
Nothing else to 22 is. Yeah, so another spot there for Jessica. Three points for the 42. A little bit of, I guess, a uh, motivational thing, I guess, being the first car one lap down, if nothing else. Three laps to go, though. Can Preston Floor get the job done and pass Chris Washer? I don't know. Washer actually starting to open a gap a little bit with two laps to go. The bright side, if you're, uh, I guess, if you're Preston Floor, he's going to gain spots and might be able to be within a race here, leaving Bristol, going into Daytona. White flag is out. One lap to go for Chris Washer. It's been a horrendous season for this four team. No wins yet. Remember, Washer won twice last season. But as he comes off turn number four, he will get it done. He wins at Bristol. His third short track win of his Hooters Nationwide career. Remember, he swept Martinsville last season. As apparently Maxwell Chan has been turned. And people kind of showing up as retired when the official the stings hang on officially yet. Uh, let's get this one exported first. Chris Washer, your winner here today. Preston Plord second. Troy King, Ish Taylor, and back-to-back -back top five finishes for that team. Kenny Bale, Seth Cole, Kyle Thomas, Brennan Berg, Katie Elizabeth. And Chris Louvier, two top tens on the weekend so far. He's gotten a win and a tenth in two races. So definitely a lot better of a race here tonight. A lot more exciting of a race, at least. Better to bring it to you. Or I had a lot more fun bringing this one than I did the one yesterday. But oh well, that's beside the point. We have one more race from Bristol left to go. It's the cup race. And like I said, next week this series goes to Daytona. Four races left. No one's in danger of being eliminated from title contention yet, but there might be people next week who could. Uh, that will be updated when you see the points roll out right after this.